Last week, we sailed from Nicaragua to the beautiful and deserted bays of northern Costa Rica. All right, it's time for another little shore excursion here. We are going to try to find a waterfall. We rode over to the other side of the bay, hiking up a creek bed now. We have some directions, see if we can find it. Armed with our radio, we're gonna get a couple of waypoints we're gonna try and find. Following our directions, we headed up a forest service road and then turned to walk up a riverbed, which was mostly dry now that the rainy season had ended, and made for an easy hike. This is part of the largest area of what is called a tropical dry forest in Costa Rica, and life here has adapted to being able to survive with virtually no rainfall for about half the year. What is that? Some kind of a seed pot or something up on top. Oh yeah, there's one with a branch on it. As we hiked, we took in the interesting plants, listened to birds, and even spotted some wildlife. We made it, we just gotta find the waterfall. Let's follow the water, I guess. We enjoyed meandering along the stream and wondered how different it would be in the rainy season. From the grooves and channels in the gravel, it looked like it could be quite a raging river. We've been following, so far a lot of our information here has come from a couple of guides, older guides. One of the newer ones is by uh, some folks on a boat called SV Serana from what, five to ten years ago. I think about ten years ago, ten years like ago. That. Nice digital guide. Mm -hmm. And we did one of their little hikes just today, came up to a waterfall, but things have changed. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's washed out a bit. It's a bit of a waterfall there still, but... Only a couple of feet or so. Still gorgeous, really pretty. But we've seen a lot of things, maybe like a bush turkey or something. Saw some deer, lots of birds, hummingbird. Lizards. Lizards, big spider. Oh, spiders. Yeah, cool stuff. An awesome, really cool hike up this wash though. So here in Santa Elena, there's a little mangrove channel at the far end of this bay, and I came up here in the paddleboard yesterday, and it was amazing. Beautiful in here, tons of birds, awesome trees. So we had to come back in the dinghy so we could get some video for you guys and do some fishing. No luck. Paddling into the estuary, we took in what was a very different sort of mangrove forest than we had seen before. Big, tall, red mangrove trees made it feel much more jungle-like. And as we paddled up, we disappeared into a completely different world. This was a totally unique place, and we felt like we were miles from the sea or dry forest that was just across the bay.
successful mangrove trip. It's pretty nice. I think we ended up in more of a river creek than we did. We started out in mangroves and went up to a nice creek. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little paddle up there. It's like paddling through the jungle. Tons of birds, bats, bugs. And we saw some kind of animal, some kind of like raccoon, monkey, sloth type thing. We're not quite sure. It wasn't but... a raccoon. Today we are leaving this beautiful remote bay via Santa Elena in northern Costa Rica. We're headed south. We're headed around a little cape here and across a big gulf that's known as the Gulf of Papagayo. It's known for really strong kind of like gap winds and today and tomorrow it's supposed to be a bit calmer. Um, not Only so windy, 17 to 25 today. Which is better than like the gale force winds that has been the past week. Tough to tell, we woke up this morning, it was the calmest day we've probably had here. So we'll see what it is once we get out here. It does look a little lumpy and a few white caps out there. Uh, looks like, I think our route's around 40, 44 miles. As soon as we left the protection of Bahia Santa Elena, we were met with the full force of the wind. And we were glad that we had put up a reefed mainsail instead of a full one. Once it was clear, the weather was still quite gusty and strong. We put away the full Genoa, turned up into the wind, rigged our running backstays, and put out the smaller staysail. And then we were cruising, as comfortably as you can be under these conditions. To see how we go today. This is supposed to be today and tomorrow the lull in the Papagayo winds, which are strong northeast east winds. And right now it's about 20 25 knots apparent coming off of our, our starboard quarter here. And we're going to be rounding a, a cape here, Cabo Santa Elena. It's known to be quite windy uh, around the cape. We've got a lot of chop here, probably only like a second or two apart between these, like four or five foot uh, waves, which are mainly just the wind waves, but they've really picked up quite a bit of chop here. So we'll see how we go around the Cape. I think one of our most favorite things that we enjoy on any kind of sailing passage is when the dolphins come and join us. They've already spotted these ones coming from behind. They just surf the waves in. And now we've got like five or six of them up here right around the bow. A couple of them jumping right out of the water. We've found them way more playful in Central America, like Nicaragua and South. We found the dolphins just leaping out of the, out of the water and doing crazy acrobatics. It's pretty awesome to see that in the wild. And they just love it. They're surfing our big bow waves with us here. They're pretty cool to watch. Surprisingly, as we neared the cape and the small outcropping of islands, the wind actually settled down. And before we knew it, we were totally in the lee of the point with calm, flat seas. 
We had a very uneventful crossing yesterday of the Gulf of Papagayo. You get what are called the Papagayo winds, which are north, northeast winds basically coming across from the Caribbean. And they can be extremely strong, uh, more prevalent at this time of year. Don't know what happened. The wind was screaming out of southern Nicaragua and northern Costa Rica there, Bahia Salinas and Bahia Santa Elena. And once we got to the Cape where we were worried about the winds, which can really accelerate around there, the winds completely died. We got a little bit of wind late in the day and we were able to sail into the anchorage. We do have a little further to go to uh, where we can check into Costa Rica. But this is a gorgeous spot and we're excited to check it out. I know Hillary's done a little bit of exploring already and found some cool stuff. Pretty gorgeous spot to drop the anchor. Tucked behind a small peninsula with big cliff walls, tropical forest, and clear blue water, we were excited to spend some time exploring here. was the first time in quite a while that we had nice clear water nearby to jump into and we couldn't wait to see what was around. We were greeted and accompanied by the always friendly and curious porcupine fish while we explored the watery world. By far, the most interesting find were several spotted eagle rays. We watched as these beautiful rays foraged for food using their snout, turning over rocks to look for crustaceans to eat, not minding us at all. Another cool sighting was a small sea turtle resting in a rocky crevice of the reef. Bahia Huevos, and it's a beautiful spot. Some gorgeous hillsides all around, and some awesome stuff underwater. It's been a long time since we've had good snorkeling, decent visibility, and there's some really cool stuff here. Thanks so much for joining us, and a huge thanks to our patron Adrift crew who keep these videos coming. If you enjoyed watching, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and even consider becoming a patron. Until next time, adios! I'm lining up for the high dive, <laughs> and well, the diving board has spun around on me and I'm going to see if I can lift